You are watching With a Cup of Tea, the High Plains Book Awards edition, a production of This House of Books, an independent bookstore cooperative and tea shop in downtown Billings, Montana. Now here's our show. Welcome to This House of Books. We have with us today, Sue Kroll, who's a finalist for the High Plains Book Award in the category of poetry. Uh, she has a book out called Cold Metal Stairs, a collection of poems. And we're gonna talk about that in a minute, but first let's, uh, let's find out a little bit more about you, Sue. Tell us about yourself. Well, uh, I currently live in Edmonton, Alberta. Um, and I have been out West for, oh gee, since the 90s. I'm originally from Eastern Canada, from um, Elmer, Quebec, which is across the river from Ottawa. And uh, part of my book is set in Montreal and Ottawa uh, because the book is about my father uh, who uh, was diagnosed with dementia and lived with dementia for several years. And part of the book covers that as well as his eventual death and an aftermath time, a coming to terms time. So the book travels geographically. There's some parts set in the East, but my parents uh, settled in Canmore, Alberta, uh, a few years ago. And that's where my, my father died in Canmore. Um, so there's a lot about that region, that area. Okay. So you've, you've uh, not always lived in, in Alberta. Uh, you've moved since then. Uh, let me just ask, this is your, I think your third collection of poetry. Is right, that? yes. Okay. It is. And, and yeah. you also have, I think your first novel is coming out perhaps today? It, yesterday was my official publication day. So yes, I also have a novel coming out. Um, I know it's unusual to have two books coming out so close together, but um, my novel took a very long time to get accepted for publication. And in those years, uh, I, I ended up writing a book of poems about my dad. And, and I guess it's just the way the world of uh, literary publishing works to have two books so close together. Well, tell us about the, the uh, Tell us about cold metal stairs. Yes, um, it, it it's a kind of chronicle in poems uh, about my father's dementia, uh, his life with dementia, uh, living in a uh, a facility, an extended care facility, and about his death. He died of um, pneumonia. So there's there's sections about that. And there's also the idea of being away from the person who's ill. Uh, Canmore and Edmonton are far, far away. They're about five hours drive away. Um, so there was that whole issue for me of being the, the daughter who's away and, and dealing with um, guilt as well as grief. Um, the book also talks about long-term illness and you know, the emotion around that. And then there is a, a section later after a person dies, dealing with grief and and a coming to terms. Uh, my dad was uh, an arborist and a wonderful gardener. So there's a lot of, in the ending section, a lot of gardening poems, um, which kind of talk about finding solace and, and, and a moving beyond your grief a little bit. Um, so, so the book is, is a narrative, it's chronological. And I, I guess people who've had this in their lives, dementia, Alzheimer's, um, could really relate to it. But I also think people who've lost a loved one, a parent, and you know, especially in these COVID times, there's a lot of different kinds of grief. So the book, it's about approaching grief, moving through grief, uh, coming to terms. Um, and, and the poems themselves are, are quite straightforward, plain language, very narrative. So um, it, it seems like this would have a, a rather 
large audience given the number of people who are affected by this um, kind of thing. Well, in the, in the few number of readings I was able to do before COVID came down, what was very interesting to me is when I would read in public, people would come up to me and be quite emotional about, this is my grandmother, this is my spouse, this was, and I did, you know, I hadn't entered the world of dementia before, uh, of course. Um, but this, this touches people who, who've had an experience with dementia, I think. Um, it's an invisible kind of illness in a way. Uh, a person's personality is erased, made invisible, um, and they're alive. The person is still alive, but a great part of them is missing, is invisible. So it's, it's emotional stuff. Well, it's, uh, uh, there, there's so many different forms of dementia. Yes. Your father, as I understand it, had Lewy body dementia. Which is yes, he did. Quite pervasive. Uh, and, and again, hard. I had no idea of this. Suddenly you, you learn things. Um, I didn't realize it was such a pervasive form. Yeah. Yes, it's, you learn more than maybe you wanted ever to know. <laughs> um, oh, is that right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, and, uh, I think in an interview previously, you, you talked about it and just said, you know, talked about how you were presenting a, a version of your, your own lived experience, mm -hmm. not necessarily a roadmap for anybody else, but uh, this not at all. Yeah. yours, but nevertheless, um, it connects with so many people. It, I think so many people share the same kind of, uh, well, I think the specific becomes potentially the universal. Um, yes, of course, that, you know, every, every uh, Alzheimer's, Lewy body, dementia story is different and the same in, in some ways. Yeah. Yeah. Well, thanks so much for sharing this with us. I, I really appreciate the time you've taken to, uh, to visit with us here and, and uh, share your story. I... Well, thank you so much for your interest. Yes. Well, we, we hope to see you in Billings uh, you know, Maybe. As, as soon in as we future. can travel again. It would be great. Yeah, in the healthy future. <laughs> in the healthy future. Thanks so much. Thank you. Yeah. So on. This program has been produced by This House of Books in collaboration with the High Plains Book Awards. The Book Awards were established to recognize regional authors and literary work that examines life on the High Plains. Nominations will be accepted starting in January 2021 on the website highplainsbookawards.org.